In Florida, our waterways are really important to us. I'm Derek Knustrup, a senior at the University of North Florida in Jacksonville. And our coastal biology students are going to show you how they keep the water clean for our entire region. Coastal biology really concerns itself with anything uh, biological that happens on the, on the coast. So we're interested in things like uh, wetlands as well as the interface between the land and the ocean. One of the great things about coastal biology is it has so many uh, wonderful applications for when you graduate. We actually now have uh, master's degrees and bachelor's degree in coastal biology. You can work for uh, a consulting company. There's many of them down here. We also have a lot of government agencies from the St. John's Water Management District to the Florida EPA, um, as well as going on in academia if you want to do research, uh, if you want to monitor the environment. All these are great things you can do with a coastal biology degree. Today what we're doing is actually we're doing a project uh, that was uh, initiated by the St. John's uh, Water Management District. And what they want to do is see if we can ameliorate or lessen the effects of uh, fertilizer runoff into tributaries. So what we have done is we've selected a number of sites around Jacksonville. We've planted these gardens, and now we're monitoring these gardens and seeing how efficient they are at removing nitrogen and phosphorus. My uh, researchers are looking at the algae in the water. Uh, we have other people looking at the plants, some people looking at the insects, some people looking at the fish, and we're going to integrate all of these into a large study in the end to see the effects and how wide these buffer zones have to be in order to take up nutrients. Classroom experience is a lot different than being able to come out in the field. I've learned a lot more in the field um, than I ever could in any classroom setting. Well, Hands-on stuff, you learn a lot more. Just being out here with like uh, Dr. Cosmata and some of the other professors that come out here, you learn a lot more than just them pointing at a picture in a book saying, here it is, when you can actually come out into this natural environment and see it and experience firsthand. <music> For one, because they have such great access to you know, all the coastal systems nearby. We've got the ocean, and we've got the tributaries, the river, the marshes, everything. So it makes it a great spot to do research and also field trips for classes and things like that. Um, also, it's a great program because it's small, so everybody gets to know each other. The professors are there to help you all the time and work with you on your project. You're not just you know, a number. UNF has um, a really nice ratio of students to faculty, so you get to um, interact with the faculty a lot more than other campuses. And in addition to that, the, just the overall, the, the biology department is uh, very nice people, uh, easy to go up to and talk to. The, the doors are always open. Um, and. For my particular project, I'm able to get help from five or six different faculty members. So you actually get a, a really good group of people to work with. That's the wonderful thing about this project. It has both academic purposes, I suppose, and that will generate manuscripts from this, but it also has a lot of practical use as well, in that we'll actually have some baseline data to say, you should protect this margin around your lakes and rivers in order to reduce nutrient runoff. The neatest thing about my department, and I've been to a lot of departments, is that we actually have a lot of undergraduate faculty interaction. The vast majority of schools you go to, chances are excellent you will never speak to a professor. If you are interested in coming to UNF uh, as an undergraduate, it truly is a wonderful research opportunity and it's a, it's a really great place to come, uh, talk with other biologists and interact with all sorts of great colleagues. In education and coastal biology, we'll show you how we impact our water's ecosystem every day. For more information, visit unf.edu.